Hello friends, welcome to civil engineering exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with strength of materials. So the first question, modulus of rigidity is defined as the ratio of option A, longitudinal stress to longitudinal strain, option B, shear stress to shear strain, option C, stress to strain, option D, stress to volumetric strain. So the current answer is option B, shear stress to shear strain. Next question, if all the direction of prismatic bar doubled, then the maximum stress produced in it under its own weight will option A decrease, option B remain unchanged, option C increase to 2 times, option D increase to 4 times. So the correct answer is option C increase to 2 times. Next question, if the Young's modulus of elasticity of a material is twice, if smallness of rigidity, then the Poisson ratio of the material is option A 0, option B 0 0.5, option C minus 0 0.5, option D minus 1. The correct answer is option A 0. Next question, the relationship between Young's modulus of elasticity E, Bell's modulus K and the Poisson ratio mu is given by Option A, E equal to 2K into 1 minus 2 mu. Option B, E equal to 3K into 1 plus mu. Option C, E equal to 2K into 1 plus mu. Option D, E equal to 3K into 1 minus 2 mu. So the correct answer is option D, E equal to 3K into 1 minus 2 mu. Next question, limit state of proportionality depends upon option A, area of cross section. Option B, types of loading. Option C, types of material. Option D, all of the above. So the correct answer is option C, type of material. Next question, limiting value of Poisson ratio or option A, minus 1 and 0 0.5. Option B, minus 1 and minus 0 0.5. Option C, 1 and minus 0 0.5. Option D, 0 and 0 0.5. So the correct answer is option A minus 1 and 0 0.5. Next question, for an isotropic, homogeneous and elastic material obeying Hooke's law, the number of independent elastic constant is option A 3, option B 2, option C 9, option D 1. So the correct answer is option B 2. Next question, the elongation of the conical bar under its own weight is equal to Option A, that of prismatic bar of the same length. Option B, one half that of prismatic bar of same length. Option C, one third that of prismatic bar of same length. Option D, one fourth of that of prismatic bar of the same length. So the correct answer is option C, one third of the prismatic bar of the same length. Next question, in the thin cylinder shell, the ratio of longitudinal strain Longitudinal stress to hoop stress, option A 1, option B 0 0.5, option C 4, option D 2. So the correct answer is option D 2. Next question, if the material has identical properties is all direction it is called option A homogeneous, option B isotropic, option C elastic, option D orthotropic. So the correct answer is option B isotropic. Next question, weakest section in the fillet weld is option A throat of the fillet, option B smaller side, option C side parallel to force, option D side perpendicular to the force. So the correct answer is option A throat of the fillet. Next question, two bars of different material are the same size and are subjected to the same tensile force. If the bar having the unit elongation in the ratio of 4 is to 7, then the ratio of modulus of elasticity of the two material is option A 7 is to 4, option B 4 is to 7, option C 4 is to 17, option D 16 is to 49. The correct answer is option A 7 is to 4. Next question. The effective throw thickness of the fillet weld is option A 0 0.707 into size of weld, option B 1.414 into size of weld, option C a function of angle between fusion phases, option D equal to the side of the fillet. 
So the correct answer is option C, a function of the angle between fusion phases. Next question, if the composite bore of the steel and the copper is heated, then the copper bore will be under option A, tension, option B, compression, option C, shear, option D, tension. So the correct answer is option B, compression. Next question, according to Unwin's formula, tire diameter of the rivet in mm to suit the T mm thickness of the plate is given by option A 60, option B 1.5 root T plus 4, option C 1.9 root T, option D 6 into root T. So the correct answer is option D 6 into root T. 15. Effective length of the weld equal to option A overall length minus weld size, option B overall length minus throw thickness, Option C overall length minus 2 into weld size. Option D overall length e minus 2 into throw thickness. So the correct answer is option C overall length minus 2 into weld size. Next question Size of fillet weld with unequal legs is equal to option A throw thickness. Option B smaller leg length. Option C longer leg length. Option D average of smaller and longer leg lengths. So the correct answer is option A, throat thickness. Next question, size of rigid angled fillet weld is given by option A, 0.707 into throat thickness, option B, 0.414 into throat thickness, option C, 2.0 into throat thickness, option D, throat thickness. So the correct answer is option B, 0.414 into throat thickness. Next question, the effective length of fillet weld designed to transmit axial load shall not be less than option A, 10 into size of weld, option B, 6 into size of weld, option C, 2 into size of weld, option D, 4 into size of weld. So the correct answer is option D, 4 into size of weld. Next question, a fillet carrying a pull of 690 kN is connected to the guest plate using rivets. If the pulls required to shear the rivet to crush the rivet and tear the plate per pitch length of 68.5 kN, 46 kN and 69 kN respectively, then the number of rivet required is option A 10, option B 12, option C 15, option D 20. So the correct answer is option C 15. Next question, if the point in strained material is subjected to equal normal and tangential stresses, then the angle of obliquity is option A 0 degree, option B 45 degree, option C tan inverse of 1 by 2, option D tan inverse of 2. So the correct answer is option B 45 degree. Next question, if the rivet value is 16.8 kN and force in the member is 16.3 kN, then the number of rivets required for the connection of the member to the guest plate is option A1, option B2, option C3, option D4. So the correct answer is option B2. Next question, when the member is subjected to axial tensile load, the greatest normal stress equal to option A half the maximum shear stress, option B maximum shear stress, option C twice the maximum shear stress, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option C twice the maximum shear stress. Next question, according to the Rankine hypothesis, the criteria of failure of the brittle material is option A maximum principal stresses, option B maximum shear stress, Option C, maximum strain energy. Option D, maximum shear strain energy. So the correct answer is option A, maximum principal stress. Next question, maximum bending moment in a beam occurs where option A, deflection is zero. Option B, shear force is maximum. Option C, shear force is minimum. Option D, shear force changes sign. So the correct answer is option D, shear force changes sign. Next question, the sum of normal stresses is option A, constant, option B, variable, option C, dependent on the planes, option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option A, constant. Next question, 
the radius of mohr circle for two equal unlike principal stresses of magnitude p is option a 0 option b p by 2 option c p and option d none of the above so the correct answer is option c p next question rate of change of bending moment is equal to option a cf force option b deflection option c slope option d rate of loading so the correct answer is option a cf force next question shear stress on the principal plane is option a zero option b minimum option c maximum option d none of the above so the correct answer is option a zero so next question the state of pure shear stress is produced by option a tension in one direction and equal compression in perpendicular direction option b equal tension in two direction at right angles option c equal compression in two direction at right angles option d none of the above so the correct answer is option a tension in one direction and the equal compression in perpendicular direction next question the diagram shows the variation of axial load along the span is called option a bending moment diagram option b shear force diagram option c thrust diagram option d influence line diagram so the correct answer is option c thrust diagram next question the variation of the bending moment in the portion of the beam carrying linearly varying load is option a linear option b parabolic option c cubic option d constant so the correct answer is option c cubic next question a simply supported beam of length l carries a load varying uniformly from zero at left end to the maximum at right end the maximum bending moment occurs at the distance of option a 1 by root 3 from left end option b 1 by 3 from left end option c 1 by root 3 from right end option d 1 by 3 from right end so the correct answer is option a 1 by root 3 from left end so next 16 the maximum bending moment due to the moving load on a fixed ended fixed ended beam occurs option a at a support option b always at the mid span option c under the load only option d none of the above so the correct answer is option a at the support next question if the cantilever beam carries a uniformly distributed over its entire length then the shape of the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram respectively option a quadratic parabola and the cubic parabola option b quadratic parabola and a triangle option c rectangle and a triangle option d triangle and a quadratic parabola so the correct answer is option d triangle and a quadratic parabola next question a cantilever beam ab of length l carries a concentrated load w at its mid span c if the free end b is supported on the rigid prop then there is a point of counterflexure option a between a and c option b between c and b option c one between a and c and another between b and c option d nowhere in the beam so the correct answer is option a between a and c next question a prismatic beam fixed at both ends carries a uniformly distributed load so the ratio of bending moment at the support to the bending moment at the mid span is option e 0.5 option b 1 option c 1.5 option d 2.0 so the correct answer is option d 2.0 again we will see next video thank you